Is there a problem with your Goodman air conditioner? Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be all right. This appliance helper's repair guide includes troubleshooting, error codes, and other useful tips to get that unit up and running again. For more information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Goodman air conditioner, look no further. Our comprehensive Goodman air conditioner error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code A2. Problem. Shorted sensor. Open sensor. Sensor disconnected. Sensor out of range. Code. A3. Problem. Shorted sensor. Open sensor. Sensor disconnected. Sensor out of range. Code. E5. Problem. Short in low voltage wiring. Code. EE. Problem. Compressor relay contacts welded. Code. B0. Problem. Indoor blower motor problem. Communications error between indoor and outdoor unit. Code. B9. Problem. Indoor blower motor problem. Blocked filters. Restrictive. Undersized ductwork. Indoor outdoor unit mismatch. Code. D0. Problem. The air conditioner. Heat pump is wired as part of a communicating system and the integrated control module does not contain any shared data. Code. D1. Problem. The air conditioner. Heat pump is wired as part of a communicating system and the integrated control module contains invalid shared data or network data is invalid for the integrated control module. Code. D2. Problem. The air conditioner. Heat pump is wired as part of a communicating system and the outdoor unit requires airflow greater than the indoor unit's airflow capability. Shared data is incompatible with the system or missing parameters. Code. D3. Problem. Shared data sent to the integrated control module does not match the hardware configuration. Code. D4. Problem. Shared data on the memory card has been rejected. Code. O1. Problem. Low refrigerant charge. Restriction in liquid line. Indoor blower motor failure. Indoor thermostat set extremely low. Code. O2. Problem. Blocked condenser coil. Outdoor fan not running. Code. O3. Problem. Intermittent thermostat demand. Faulty compressor relay. Code. 04. Problem. Compressor bearings are seized. Failed compressor run capacitor. Faulty run capacitor wiring. Faulty compressor wiring. Low line voltage. Code. 05. Problem. Power is disconnected. Failed compressor protector. Compressor not properly wired to control. Code. 06. Problem. Compressor start winding is open. Failed compressor run capacitor. Faulty run capacitor wiring. Compressor not properly wired to control. Faulty compressor wiring. Code. 07. Problem. Compressor run winding is open. Compressor no properly wired to control. Faulty compressor wiring. Code. 08. Problem. Low line voltage. High line voltage. Code. 09. Problem. Control detects secondary voltage less than 18 VAC. Transformer overloaded. Low line voltage. If you're looking for help fixing your Goodman air conditioner, Look no further. Our comprehensive Goodman air conditioner troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Your Goodman central air conditioning system includes a compressor outdoors and a coil indoors on top of your furnace. The compressor pumps a refrigerant gas to dehumidify and cool the air. It also removes heat and moisture from the air inside your home by circulating the warm air over the indoor coil pumping it to the outside of your home and pumping the cool air inside. Over time, the compressor unit in the Goodman central air system may fail. Step 1. Adjust the thermostat inside your home that controls your Goodman central air and heating system. Check to see if it is set on the cool setting and that the temperature is set to a cooler setting than the current temperature reading inside your home. Step 2. Go to where your breaker box is located. Check all the breakers to make sure the circuit for the air conditioning compressor HASNT tripped off. If you find the circuit breaker has tripped. You may have a short somewhere in the unit. Step 3. Turn off the breaker in the breaker box for the compressor. Remove the cover on top of the compressor. Unscrew the screws holding it in place. Turn off the power to the compressor. Check to see if the motor for the fan or any wiring inside the unit looks charred or damaged. Step 4. Turn the compressor fan carefully with your hand to make sure it rotates. If it is stuck, the fan needs to be replaced. Step 5. Check for any debris in the unit such as leaves, sticks or grass, or to see if there is dirt on the condenser fan or coil. If so, the airflow may be blocked. 
If you're looking for help fixing your Goodman air conditioner, look no further. Our comprehensive Goodman air conditioner repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. Goodman manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Goodman appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Goodman central air conditioner not cooling. The furnace control board sends a low voltage signal to the contactor. When the contactor receives the signal from the control board, it closes the circuit, sending voltage to the condensing unit components. If the contactor is defective, it will not provide voltage to the condensing unit. To determine if the contactor is at fault, use a multimeter to test the contactor for continuity. If the contactor does not have continuity, replace it. Goodman central air conditioner is noisy or loud. The condenser fan motor has bearings that can wear out over time. When the bearings are worn out, they make loud noise. To check the bearings, try rotating the condenser fan motor by hand. If the motor does not turn smoothly, replace it. Goodman condenser fan motor does not run. If the capacitor is defective, the fan motor might be noisy, overheat, or not run at all. To determine if the capacitor has failed, inspect the capacitor. If the capacitor is bulging or leaking, replace it. Goodman condensing unit does not run. The wall thermostat has contacts in it that control the furnace. If the contact fails it can result in the furnace and condenser unit to not run at all. Here's what customers are saying about the Goodman air conditioner. One said, with proper maintenance, a furnace should last two years or more but Goodman doesn't even have a half-life. I put in the first Goodman 10 years ago. The heat exchanger failed in less than two years and the entire furnace was replaced under warranty in March 2007. I had to pay for labor. The heat exchanger has now failed again at the end of winter. Rendering the furnace dangerous and unusable. Nobody local has a heat exchanger so it must be shipped from Texas. I'm told to pay for shipping and labor. Despite talking to Goodman on the phone, the company DIDNT tell me it would be back ordered nor would it airship to me despite the weather. A consumer affairs supervisor never called me back. My family will be without heat in the northeast for about three weeks because of Goodman's failure as a quality manufacturer and one whose customer service is disrespectful, unresponsive, and extremely poor. Do not ever consider a Goodman and if your HVAC company or supplier recommends Goodman find a different company because they reflect the companies they carry. Another said, I had a four-ton Goodman home air conditioner installed less than five years ago. The evaporator coil has already started leaking and is being replaced as I write this review. $625 to replace the coil and a $75 handling fee from the parts warehouse. My service tech tells me I was lucky to get five years and that he replaces these coils frequently. He found the leak in one minute. I called Goodman 877-254-4729 and they denied problems with their units and did not offer any compensation. Then I got on this website and read the reviews and got even more depressed. I'll never buy another Goodman or Amana because I understand they use the same coil and be sure to tell my story as often as possible. Another said, two years ago. I purchased a new Goodman HVAC system for my 1,450 square feet condo. Installation was neat and clean and complete within five days. The first summer I didn't suffer from the heat and humidity. Never did I have to touch controls. Just set the thermostat at my desired temperature and it would turn on and off without my help. Same in winter. I purchased the service maintenance plan. So every change of season company comes and checks out equipment. Changes filters and makes sure I'm ready to go. I know train is the best but also costs the most. I'm happy and the price was right. Another said, purchased a Goodman furnace in January 2010 from a building supply company in Steinbach which is about 20 minutes out of Winnipeg. I like the fact that Goodman was offering a 10-year warranty on the parts and a 10-year full replacement. We have had nothing but issues with the unit every winter and always seems to be the same issues a circuit board. Sensors. Condensation build up and the motor. I had the Goodman account manager in my home last year after I said I wanted the unit out of our house. Was told he was going speak to his superior to make sure I was satisfied Toronto and get back to me. That never happened. I never write reviews about products but the word needs to get out that the furnace is not reliable. If you live in an area that only requires your furnace periodically then maybe it's fine but not in a Canadian climate. Thanks for watching.
Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.